The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. The clouds starting to increase. They're starting to thicken a little bit as we see some rain off toward the south. Kind of chilly out there here on this uh, first day of March. Right now, Blacksburg, Martinsville, Roanoke, about 45 to 48 degrees. And you see some rain moving in, but radar is not necessarily telling the whole tale. What you get sometimes when rain falls into dry air is it evaporates, it cools. So you may actually get a little bit of sleet. But with temperatures in the 40s, it's not going to be a big issue, okay? And you see some of those brighter shades right there. There, an indication of maybe a little bit of sleet in parts of Wythe County and may move into parts of Patrick County as well. But again, not expecting any issues because temperatures are in the 40s across much of the area. And that's essentially where they're going to stay as rain increases from southwest to northeast. Plan on the rain gear, plan on a coat for some evening plans out there. So we've got some off and on rain showers in the forecast. And Future Tracker is doing a bang up job here of really nailing the location of our rain and our little bit of sleet. Here's one piece. You see that south of areas like Blacksburg and Christiansburg, but starting to drift to the north as we go through the rest of the afternoon and evening. Now, could there be a few dry pockets? For sure, yeah, that's why we're using the terminology off and on rain, right? So that's going to be the case. Here's 9 p.m. You see fairly widespread good sleeping weather tonight as we see widespread rain and maybe a few heavy pockets, especially as you go east of the Roanoke Valley. Fast forward to tomorrow around 7 o'clock in the morning. Hit or miss showers. They may continue up until about 9 or 10 o'clock in the morning, but beyond that, things are looking up for us. Still mostly cloudy. Temperatures 55 to 60 degrees. We'll start Sunday with some areas of fog, more sunshine, maybe some breaks of sunshine by the afternoon with high 60 to 65 degrees. That's as our storm system starts to pull off toward New England, and as it does so, the wind pulls in out of the southwest. So we'll pull some warmer air in early Early next week, something we've gotten used to and something we should get used to, at least according to the Climate Prediction Center. They're indicating odds of a warmer than average March, but also a wetter than average March as well. And again, we've gotten used to warmer than average. When you look at December through February, that was the third warmest that stretch ever was in the Roanoke Valley with an average temperature of 43.2 degrees. And so you might be noticing Things starting to bud, things starting to bloom, maybe a little bit ahead of schedule in Roanoke, Lynchburg and Southside right now, about one to three weeks ahead of schedule. We'll talk about spring allergies here in just a couple minutes. But in the meantime, this first day of March, it uh, doesn't feel like spring. It's a little chilly out there. Chilly rain develops as we go through the afternoon and evening, but we'll turn things around. High temperatures in the 60s Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. Another round of rain on the way come next Wednesday.